Okay, so this is the step that we need to perform before we begin to update our device. So just to give you a double check again, uh, I'm going into setting and just to show you my device. So this is the OnePlus, OnePlus 6T uh, with the Snapdragon 4 845 and the storage is the 128 gigabyte of ROM and 8 gigabyte of RAM. So I am running on the Oxygen OS version 11.1.2.2. Yeah, as you can see. And now we are about to do the update. So doing the update is very simple that we are doing the local update instead of the online update. So you simply go into system and you go into uh, system update down below there just to uh, get the seat clear. So system update down below, click on system update and it will pop up another window. And you can see that they are showing the system. Your system is up to date 11.1.2.2. So this is the latest version already applied to the OnePlus 6T. But uh, the update is not that stable. So I like to downgrade it into the uh, previous OS 10. Uh, Oxygen OS 10, I think, yeah. So go into setting at the, at the top right corner, right there, and you select on local update. So now you said move installation package into root directory. So because we are doing the local update, right, so we have to download the firmware from the original OnePlus website. Uh, you can go into Google and search for the, the, the package. And then once you have uh, finished download, it should be located inside your uh, download file or folder. So you go into file. Now this is the download. So in order to start the update, we have to move this into the device uh, directory or the device storage. Just, just go into OnePlus and then paste here. Click on move. So now they are moving an item. Uh, you can see that it's very slow. It's not even very responsive. I think it's it laggy again, just because the uh, Oxygen OS 11 is so much troublesome to the phone that it make the phone is not responsible. You now see if it's uh, frozen already. Frozen already. This might probably take some time to recover back. Maybe because we are moving the big file from one location to another that make it uh, slow and laggy. So now it's a uh, device not even power on. Already try to try to tap anywhere, but it's not that much responsive. Let's do it again. It's not working. So I was making a bad decision last night that I do the update to the phone to the latest version without being aware that the latest version might have caused so much trouble into the device itself. And now I can see it's really troublesome. And yeah, let's, let's check out uh, later when we are able to load up the phone. Okay guys, so the leggy is gone and we are able to uh, brought back the phone. So let's go into, okay, so, so we have uh, moved the file from download into the phone internal storage. So after that, we have to go into the uh, directory where we paste the where we have just moved the file into so I think I move it to one plus 16 yeah so here you can see the file right so the file that download from the internet is ending with jar name so all we need to do is to rename it first so you can see that there's a dot jar at the end and we have to delete it click OK so it will change into zip file like that so once you have that edited you go into setting again or setting go into setting and Wow, even even the setting is like here. Can't believe, can't believe this actually happened. Okay, so uh, I might need to go to setting again. And then you go into system. And then down there, you go for system update. And then you click on setting uh, logo on top. And then you see the word local update, right? Local upgrade. So you click on local upgrade. It will looking for the file. So a moment ago, it said uh, to move the file into the root directory. So we have just moved it. So actually, the, the, the point is that we have, when we, when we have downloaded the file, it will go into the download folder. So download folder is not considered as a root directory of the phone. So in order to have that upgrade, you have to move the file from download folder into the internal storage of the phone, which is the phone itself. And then you have to rename the file from .jar at the end by deleting the .jar and just only keep it ending with .zip instead. So then you go back into the setting and then you can perform the updating. So uh, what you have to do right now is simply click on that. And then we will say, and then the, uh, it will alert you that the package you have select will reset your device into factory default after the installation. And then asking us whether we are sure to install or not. Well, for me, this is the only option. I have to go and confirm. So I'm gonna click confirm and they are starting the installation uh, process. Uh, I don't know how long that it will take, but yeah, it will proceed and then we will continue from that. So I'll pause the video for now. Yeah, see you after that. 
Okay guys, so now the installation is complete and the device is asking to restart to start experiencing the new feature. So I am going to press reboot right here since the progress is already 100% finished. So let's see what will it give us. Click on reboot. Now the device is restarting. So it uh, begin the wiping. Uh, we still have our battery plug. Let's see how it's uh, how long will it take. All right. So now the update has completed, and we can see that there's loading an interface up. So I will proceed to set up the phone right to its original state. So now I'm gonna press. Uh, okay. So just to just to give you in the view on this. So after the update, the update is taking a while. And then the wiping of the system, it took like one night for me to have the phone ready. And now the phone is ready and you can see it's uh, restarting. After the wiping, it will restart the phone. So right after that, it will launch this pickup. And then you can simply continue to proceed the or finalize the setup. So I'm going to click start in here to finalize the setup. Click on agree. Uh, no thanks. And then no things again, no things again. Agree. Skip. Okay, yeah, type in the password a little bit. Type in password. Okay, so now uh, Wi-Fi is connected. Checking for update might take a few minutes. So my expectation is that the firmware after we downgrade the firmware back from Oxid. Oxygen OS 11, right? So we are on the Oxygen 10. And my expectation on this is that the phone might probably run smoothly. It's much better than the, the, the latest OS that might drag the phone down or even uh, pose a crash issue to the app uh, within the phone as well. So very straightforward. The update, I can say that it is far easier than far easy than, than any type of phone that we need to do the update. So normally you need to do all those routing stuff. You have, to, you have to have your phone connected to your PC. You have to have the dedicated firmware, all of that. But this one, this the firmware is very straightforward download from the website. And the update is simply from a built-in updatable uh, software from right from the setting. Okay, so now you can see we are, I think we are almost done. So copy and apps and data. I don't have any app and data, so I don't copy. Just a sec. So uh, OnePlus is considered as the very stable and you know performance is very nice. The speed is extremely fast, and I think the latest OnePlus right now is the OnePlus 12. So sixth generation from this one. Uh, yeah. yeah. So apart from this, I think uh, the setup is complete. I mean the, the the update is complete and we can consider it as done. So very simple, very straightforward. You want to update or downgrade your OnePlus is very easy. It's a uh, no troublesome on firmware download, no troublesome on updating software, no troublesome in requirement. Everything is very straightforward and smooth. So simply go to your website, download the firmware that you want to downgrade or upgrade it to, put it into your phone, rename it, move it to the lo dedicated location, and then you go into setting, you load up the uh, update upgrade local upgrade page, and then straight from there you can just simply update the phone and you get what you want. So I think we are going to finish this video right now uh, thank you guys for watching i think we're all done here and if there is any issue at all you are wanted to ask just simply leave in the comment section below and i will be pleased to answer the question and solve the problem with you together so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video bye for now